Very impressive. Look at this. That is a gutsy day. This guy, I mean, the last two times he was in triathlons, he was doing some of the most incredible things. The last race being sort of helped across the finishing line. I know these aren't the ways that Johnny Brownlee would like to be renowned for his sport, but he is certainly a guy who's not afraid to give everything when he goes out into a race course. Well, and the other the other thing, and, and the good news you would think from watching those shots is that he, he yeah. can't be that badly injured, or yeah. otherwise yeah. it's ridiculous. It looked, it looked much more that it was a bike issue. Yeah. Uh, Javier's back in about eighth, ninth place. It doesn't really look like it's the Javier that we're, you know, naturally expecting to see. We'll, we'll see. But this is the kind of distance that the two-time champion Olympic Games uh, silver medalist Javier Gomez would have been making a factor. So he's sitting back in about, you can see him there to the left of those cones, maybe in about ninth spot. And I would have anticipated him being a little bit closer up. Amirio Mola now starting to put his stamp on this field. Watch your foot, he says. Watch your footing as the guys come around. So there's Blumenfeld, Schilling from Denmark, and there's Javi Gomez back in about eighth or ninth spot. Wow, that, hands off. You gotta give the full accolades to that guy. We'll see whether or not he does the whole run or even if he just goes for 5K. At this point, he's done the work. There we go, Johnny Bradley, the Olympic Games, silver and bronze medalist carrying his bike for well over a kilometer. He's going to give himself a little bit of an opportunity to just see where his running fitness yeah. is. But.